From novels to comics to both animated and live action adaptations, Edgar Rice Burroughs' Tarzan once again swings onto the silver screen. This time, coming to us from director David Yates, who some of you may recognize as the director of the second half of the Harry Potter franchise. Personally speaking, I have a fondness for the character as a result of the Disney animated film and subsequent television series, but I also have a fondness for the 80s film Greystoke, The Legend of Tarzan, Lord of the Apes, starring Christopher Lambert. As such, I was actually kind of excited for this film going in. Coming out, while not disappointed, I can't help but feel this film, like many of its contemporaries coming out this summer, appears to be more focused on spectacle rather than story. The Legend of Tarzan is a film that feels like a sequel to a film that doesn't exist. Yes, we do see the origins of the character, but much of the story takes place after a period of time in which Tarzan, now using his British name John Clayton and Jane, have been married for quite some time. Oddly, this is kind of refreshing to see as the film doesn't get bogged down by retelling the origin story of the character for half of the film, like certain other reboots we've seen in recent history. In fact, the film brings us into the middle of the story through the character of George Washington Williams, played by Samuel L. Jackson, as he is often the person that asks the questions that lead into the explanations about Tarzan and the world of the story. That said, while the film does a good job with character development and pacing, much of the film is dedicated to spectacle with its abundance of visual effects sequences and creatures. While for the most part they look good, you run into a few scenes where it's clear that the extras didn't know where to look because there was nothing for them to look at. On top of that, we also have plot threats that are hastily wrapped up, despite having been built up from the very beginning of the film. This leads to a climactic third act that is a bit reliant on deus ex machina, as well as giving the laws of physics a large middle finger. It's not really as satisfying as it could have been, especially given the film's PG-13 rating. When it comes to the technical aspects of the film, there is a nice, solid visual style the film tries to adopt, even if the symbolism of the imagery and color scheme is a little too obvious. Visually, the film works best in scenes where they balance the atmosphere with the action, but there are some scenes where the action is just too choppy to really enjoy. As for the acting, we get really good performances here, the major standouts being Alexander Skarsgård and Christoph Waltz. Samuel was good too, but I felt like I was just seeing a younger version of his character from The Hateful Eight. As for Margot Robbie, it doesn't look like she was given much to work with, given the nature of Jane as a character, but for the most part she did a pretty good job. Overall, while it's not a perfect film, it's at least an enjoyable interpretation of the character and story of Tarzan, and feels right at home as a summer movie. That said, the fact that the story kind of devolves toward the end is disappointing given what they had built up. Structurally, it feels like the movie is at the end of a longer story rather than the start of a new franchise, given the great deal of changes made to the various characters' backstory. If you're looking for a simple, fun action-adventure movie, you could do worse than this, but I wouldn't pay more than about $7 or so to see this film. All of that said, The Legend of Tarzan gets a 3.5 out of 5. So that's it for this episode of Romney's Reviews. If you haven't already, please check out the Genshi Ken Plays Dungeons & Dragons abridged video that I made with the guys from the Geek News Reviews & Opinions podcast. We all worked really hard on it, and I'm really happy with how it turned out, so if you've got the time, click the link that you see in the annotation, it'll take you straight to it. But in the meantime, thank you for watching, I will see you all next time.